Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Sports DTM fans, and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Now, after Aaron Knighton shattered his own under 20 record in a 200 meter and became the fourth fastest man in history, the debate around Usain Bolt 200 meter world record is under threat by the team has been eaten up. With a lot of people looking at Bolt's progression, the world record versus Knighton's progression so far. At Sports DTM couldn't help ourselves and we had to add our two cents to the discussion or should I say the debate. Let's get into it. I'm going to take a look at Bolt's progression on his way to the world record and into retirement. Bolt, 6'5", super talented sprinter, arguably the greatest sprinter ever, born August 21st, 1986. At age 15, Bolt had run 20.73 seconds in Hungary and dipped below 21 seconds by age 16, running 20.58 seconds in Kingston, Jamaica, shaving off 1.15 seconds, which is impressive. One can imagine the amount of work or the type of talent he was to shave off one second in a year. Might I add that that 1.15 second was the biggest reduction throughout his career. He followed that up with a 20.13 run in Bridgetown Barbados, shaving off 0.45 seconds. The following year, at age 18, Bolt dipped below 20, 20 seconds, shaving off 0.2 seconds to return a time of 19.93 seconds, the then under 20 record. Bolt's time reduction slowed. In fact, the following year, he was slower. In 2005, at age 19, he ran 19.99 seconds, 0 0.06 slower than what he had done when he was 18. For the next two years, Bolt time reduction or his speed increased at a slower rate than when he was a teen. It pretty much ranged between 0 0.11 seconds to 0. 13 seconds with a reduction of 0 0.13 seconds occurring when he was 21 in 2007 where he ran 19.75 seconds. The average time reduction before his first world record run in Beijing, China was approximately 0 0.33 seconds. Essentially, this means Bolt was reducing his time at an average rate of 0 0.33 seconds from he from when he was 15 years old up until when he was 21. In comes 22. Well, just one day shy of his 22nd birthday, Bolt, after a lot of hard work, shaved off an impressive 0 0.45 seconds to run 19.3 seconds. At the time, that was the 200 meters world record. It was the second time in his career he had shaved off 0 0.45 seconds from his previous time. The first time he had done so was when he was 17 years old um, and that was back in 2003. Bolt followed up the next year at the World Championship in 2009 and a day shy of his 23rd birthday with a world record run of 19.19 seconds. Yep, shaving off 0 0.11 seconds of the previous year. It took Bolt approximately 8 years to get to the 19.19 seconds world record. He did it at age 23. Of course, some will argue that he could have run faster. In fact, if I am not mistaken, Bolt himself spoke about dipping below 19 seconds. Yeah, running 18.9 something seconds thereabout. However, this did not happen. And after 23 years and numerous wins, Bolt times got slower and slower. 
in the latter part of his career um, post 19.19 seconds world record run his average reduction time was approximately 0 0.098 seconds so on average from age 24 into age 30 he was able to shave off 0 0.098 seconds um, on average over the years not bad not bad at all Aaron Knighton progression has some similarities to both let's compare them at age 15 both ran 21.73 seconds while Knighton ran 21.15 seconds Knighton was faster age 16 both ran 20.58 seconds and Knighton 20.33 seconds Knighton was faster again however both had the biggest time reduction if you guys recall 1.15 seconds at age 17 Knighton again was the fastest he ran 19.84 seconds to both 20.13 seconds Knight shaved off 0.49 seconds off his fastest time at age 16 at age 18 Knighton shaved off 0.35 seconds off his previous personal best running 19.49 seconds which obliterated both 19.93 seconds and pretty much sets the new world under 20 record one can't help but wonder how much faster can he really go while he's 18 and also what is in store for him if we are to plot their progression and to compare the trajectory Knight is on a fast track to the world record you see him both world record sorry you see him both fans the neutral among us would love to see if this is even possible both record being broken okay this is not exactly science nor are we purporting to be Einstein if we use equal e equal mc squared no uh, wait y equal mx plus c no not that mm. if we use how Knighton has been able to shave off or reduce his time over the years versus what Bolt was able to do we might come up with something Sounds a bit flawed, right? Or I fluted. Who knows? It's probably best we use the coin test. There we go. Knighton might get Bolt's record by age 21, running 19.17 seconds. Sounds feasible, right? Of course, ceteris parabus. That's a Latin phrase for all things being equal. Barring no injury and the same level of intensity or his current trajectory is maintained he will dip below 19 seconds by 23 running maybe 18.98 seconds once again Ceteris Paribus fans this doesn't mean others won't come up and challenge him or even beat him one has to remember where Bolt ran Bolt 200 meter world record on two of the biggest stage the world athletic as well as the Olympics against some fierce rivals Justin Gatlin, Tyson Gay and the list goes on and on we at Sports DTM as well as fans out there I can just imagine we have front row seat to Aaron Knight and athletic career let's see what happens DTM fans out there join the debate the discussion let us know if you do feel that both record is on borrowed time and don't be afraid to give us your prediction on the age and the time that Knighton may actually run. Also, do you think he can dip below 19 seconds? Leave all of that in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And to tell a friend, to tell another friend, to tell all of their friends to join our channel. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.